I was uh, years ago working for Penthouse, and um, they sent me to do an article on a tantric sex workshop, and I thought I was really going to hate it, and it was going to be really stupid and really Californian, you know, and I thought I was really going to hate it. And I started doing all these tantric sex exercises, and I was like in total ecstasy. It's really Jwala that got me interested in tantric sex, and I'm very grateful to all that she's taught me. The name Juwala means love fire. Juwala describes herself as a spiritual gypsy, running tantric workshops in various countries for 15 years. Tantra is an art and a science, so it says if you do A, B, C, D, you can have this experience. So it is scientific in that it's repeatable. So if a person is open enough to try it, and they feel some shifts of energy, some more openness, more pleasure, then they're willing to try it again. You're coming up from your root chakra, spiraling like a snake, opening you up to more feeling, more love. The breathing's relaxed the partners so that their nervous systems are in sync or harmony. And then the energy of the hands and feet is placed like on the heart center, which is the love center. And so the, the couple is melting into the feelings of love and the breathing just ignites that spinal cerebral fluid and hopefully you can come up to the top of the head and an expanded experience can happen, which is an energy orgasm. It's a, an orgasm that most people know, a um, physical orgasm, yet it's the whole body. It's everything vibrating at the same time. It's so expanded that I forget that physical point where it may begin, you know, in the, the passion, the sex center. It may begin there and the energy starts, starts flowing, yet I feel it everywhere so strongly. Prior to the seminar, well, I have been visualizing what kind of a goddess I would want to be with for the rest of my life. And on this seminar, I, I found her. I found her. Mary. I'm very happy. Right now, I'm just totally uh, ecstatic. I, I'm just totally... I can't believe how much she fits into what I wanted. Being initiated this morning is kind of scary because Mary has told me, just you wait. <laughs> just you wait. <laughs> she says, I'm quite a handful and you're going to find out. And um, 
in a way I'm looking forward to it and, and in another way I'm scared because it's been a long while mm -hmm. since I've I've had that kind of an intimacy with someone and who is totally into it. If I can get through today, I can get through anything. <laughs> space of um, wanting to in essence perform and it, I, it, my mind kept <clears throat> flashing back to my marriage where you know uh, I could I just couldn't get it up you know you know when I was with my wife because the, the intimate part it wasn't in me and you know this lady here I, you know I care very much for her and well, I, yeah, I asked at the end of the session. I asked. I said, "Do you still, do you still like me?" <laughs> I was, you know, I was afraid that my not being able to get it up and being able to perform might disappoint her, and I was worried about that. And that was a worry. I think it's essential that there be an emotional commitment, uh, and really a monogamous commitment, because these practices, applying this thing in your life and your relationship takes a little time. It's not something that's like an instant thing. And there has to be a great deal of understanding and sensitivity and working together in that process. And so sacred sexuality and monogamy uh, go hand in hand. That doesn't mean you have to have a great relationship to do this. You can start off doing it, and that can create a deeper relationship, and out of that can come a deeper commitment. We kind of believe in serial monogamy, you know, one at a time. <laughs> if people are not in a good relationship, if there's poor communication, if there's dishonesty, deceit, or a lack of openness in a relationship, that working with the sexual energy can sometimes make it even worse. Because it will intensify and amplify anything that's going on. The things that you can kind of hide under the surface for a little while aren't going to remain hidden when you start working in this way. You can't hide mm -hmm. out in deceit. You can't hide out at all, actually. As much as you'd like to, briefly. You know, sometimes <laughs> you'd like to, but you can't because it, it is too painful and you really, you, you, you want to work it out. You want to clarify it. You, you have to work it out. Clean it up as fast as possible. Mm -hmm. One of our marriage vows is basically that we tell the truth as, as fast as we possibly can. Alan and Christine's seminar culminates in an evening of traditional tantric practices. They hope that the psychological work each participant has done will give them the sensitivity and relaxation to experience sacred sexuality. Even a glimpse, they feel, will remind them what is possible when they return home. Well, the next time you step to your right, taking care that you remain in the circle to keep the energy in the circle. 
may need to step forward or back a little. Just look. Mm. 